Now here's a change of pace and from the usual stories. Prosecutors in France say that a French man who is accused of axing dozens of men to OA with his wife. When he filmed her doing the act on himself, the Daily Mail reports that Dominique Pilcott is on trial for allegedly filming 2,000 clips of his wife being OA'd by 83 men over the course of several years. Okay, let me kill the accent. He's also accused of filming himself RAing his uh, drug wife and three other men. Police say Pilcott led other men in most of the videos, but they also say there are several videos of Pilcott himself act actively taking part in the RA of his wife. As they claim to have said, Giselle says she had no idea these guys were giving her drugs and RAing her for all these years. That report from the Daily Mail said that some of the assaults went on for hours and Giselle finally got an STD. The police also say Pilcott had a picture of his daughter without clothes on his phone. Sick fuck. Reports say the daughter stormed out of the trial yesterday after hearing this information for the first time in court. She's afraid that she was also drugged and abused. Several women told police that Pilcott was filming them in upskirts at a, store, at a store, which led to an investigation that led to the discovery of this alleged RA videos. Authorities have already identified 50 men from the videos. They are also on trial and could each face up to 20 years in jail if found guilty. Take a look at this. We've been reporting on women's safety for some time now on cases of rape, sexual exploitation, harassment and abuse. All of it is disturbing and unsettling. But then there are some cases that just send shivers down your spine, that make you stop in your tracks. Tonight we'll tell you about one such case. It is from France. At the center of it is one man, Dominique Pellico. He's 71 years old. For over a decade, he drugged his wife. Her name is Giselle. He drugged and then raped her. And not just that, he invited 72 other men to also rape her. Giselle did not protest or complain. Do you know why? Because she had no idea that this was happening to her. She was so heavily sedated that she was unaware of what was being done to her for 10 whole years. It's hard to even imagine it, let alone living this nightmare. The case is now in court. The husband and 50 other men are on trial. All hearings will be public. More horrendous details are expected to be revealed. The abuse is said to have begun in 2011. The couple lived in Mazan in southeastern France. Every evening, Dominique would crush sleeping pills and anxiety medication. He would mix this in Giselle's food. That put her into a deep sleep. Experts have compared it to a state of coma. Then he raped her and then he went online to a chat room where he invited other men to rape and sexually abuse his wife. These men came from all walks of life, truck drivers, soldiers, a journalist, a nurse, a prison guard, an IT expert working at a bank. They were between 26 to 74 years of age. Most of them were either married or in a relationship. Some even had children. Most of these men raped her once, but some kept coming back, raping her as many as six times. The police says she was raped at least 92 times by 72 men. And her husband, Dominique, filmed all of these acts. He had very strict rules for these men, apparently, to make sure that his wife remained unconscious throughout. The men were asked to park away from the house to undress in the kitchen. They were banned from smoking. They could not wear a cologne. They were asked to, to have neat fingernails. They were asked to warm their hands. He made them run their hands under hot water so that the touch wouldn't wake her up. And all of this went on for nearly a decade. Through this period, Giselle lost weight. She lost her hair. She was forgetting days. The family thought it was Alzheimer's. Her husband told her it could be tiredness. 
Of course, she believed him. They'd been together since she was 18. They had three children. Giselle believed her husband could do no wrong. But all of it changed in 2020. One day, she was summoned to the police station. Dominique had been arrested. He was at a grocery store where he tried filming up the skirts of three women. They reported him to the police. The police seized his cell phones, cameras and other devices. And on them, they found 300 photographs of Giselle. She was unconscious in the photos. The police also discovered chats. They began an investigation through the course of which they found 20,000 videos and photographs. 20,000 videos and photographs. Most of them were labeled. They were kept in an electronic folder called abuse. Giselle had no clue. She had no memory of being raped or abused. The family was in for a shock. In fact, Dominique had not just filmed his wife. He kept nude photos of his daughter as well. When these details came out, he admitted to his crimes. So did the other accused. Most of, them, most of these people said that they, they thought it was happening with her knowledge. More than 72 men. 50 of them have been identified so far. They're all going on trial. If found guilty, Dominique faces up to 20 years in prison. Isn't this freaking sick? It makes you wonder who else and how many men are guilty. And it also makes you wonder what drug was he using where his wife have no memory or recollection, a recollection of all of this assault over all of these years. And it just... It's scary. I mean, how long have this been going on? And how many other people are victim of this? Like how many other husbands or boyfriends or fathers who have done this for so many years and have gotten away with it? This needs to be heavily investigated and the drug that have been used needs to be seriously exploited and publicly out there because this is sick. Tell me your thoughts below.